Everything feels like it's finally falling into place. Grew up in the same neighborhood And thoughts out of rough soul in the wound Spend a few hours on the resume And do a bit of a health update So I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong That I'm not who I used Hello! Today is Monday. We're starting a new video. I just got out of my hair appointment and my hair is feeling so much fresher, so much lighter. I haven't gotten a haircut since probably December, June now, so that is quite a long time. I was really in the need for one and I got to see my hairdresser. Her name's Allison. I'll leave her business information down below if you are in the same area that I am. She is amazing and she was actually the one that shaved my hair when I was losing it and helped me get a wig and transition and she's just amazing. I can't say enough good things about her. But I also picked up some shampoo and conditioner because I was running out. So I got the shampoo and I'm trying out a new conditioner because I'm feeling like my hair is a little frizzy and maybe it's a little dry so I'm gonna try this more like hydrating shampoo. This brand's really good. The first ingredient actually is aloe. So yeah, super hydrating. And now I am going to go to Farm Boy. I have a couple of groceries to pick up. Today is Monday, like I said, and I have been working Tuesdays to Friday, so I get an extra day for the weekend. I was editing a video earlier this morning. It was my book shopping video, which was my last video that I posted. I am going to do a little bit of meal prepping and then see where else the day takes me. I think I'm going to film my book haul today because I have my hair all done very nice. So yeah, let's get on with the day. So I'm back from Farm Boy. I thought I would do a haul. I'm going to do some meal prepping for this week because I don't really have a lot of time to cook when I come home from work. So if you do want a meal prep video, let me know. I'll probably do one anyways, but let me know if that's something you're interested in. But I haven't done a grocery haul in a while, so I thought I would do one now. First, I got some strawberries. They're in season right now, so very affordable and they look really good. I got some just regular lettuce. I want to make these like little wraps, lettuce wraps with some ground turkey that I got, kind of inspired by something we had on the weekend on my birthday. I just got some gluten-free wraps to have. The ones that I really like are the Siete ones that I usually get at Costco, but Costco hasn't had them the last couple of times, so I just got these to have on hand. Some pickles. I'm making some chicken salad, and I put pickles in it. And I also put radishes. Radishes. And the, like, kind of... The section that's, like, reduced, that they package it up, that the... Uh, fruits and vegetables are older. I got some grapes. They felt still pretty fresh. And then I got these rainbow carrots to have as a side. Then I got some roasted garlic hummus. They have really good hummus. And I'm going to put that on my lettuce wraps. And also just to have like as hummus with like the carrots and stuff. Go with the strawberries. I was excited to see this. This is dark chocolate sesame dip and they are in these cute little mini pods so I could take some to work if I wanted to. And then these are my favorite pierogies and they were on sale so that's why I got them. So I got these pierogies and then I seen that they have these samosas which I've never seen before and they were on sale as well so decided to get them. And then I got a restock of my favorite pizza crust. This is the cauliflower 
pizza crust. Got some pineapple for my mom and I to share. And then I got some sausages. These are my favorite sausages. They're turkey sausages. And I got the mild Italian. And then I got some ground turkey. Like I said, I'm going to be making those lettuce wraps and the ground turkey was on sale. And then the last thing is a new item and I thought this would just be really handy if I needed something quick. And these are, they're sliders, but they are plant-based. So there's black bean, falafel, and sweet potato. So I could put that on a wrap, I could put it on a bun, whatever. So I'm excited to try those. So that's my grocery haul. I gotta go put all this away. And then I gotta eat some lunch because I am hungry. Hello, today is now Tuesday and I work 11 to 7. I'm about to leave soon, but I thought I would show you what I packed in my lunch. So I have my chicken salad that I made up last night. There's pickles, radishes. I use this like garlic aioli mayo, some dill, pickle juice, all that good stuff. This is also my cute little lunch bag. It's insulated, so I have a cooler in there. And then to go with the chicken salad, I have these mini peppers, sweet peppers, that I'm going to fill with the chicken salad. Then I have some grapes. One of these vegan Baby Bell cheeses. Some spicy dill pickle flavored almonds. And then I have one of these midday squares in the cookie dough flavor. Now these were 50% off at work because we have to put them 50% off like a month before they're due or something like that. But they're still good until sometime in June. So these are really good. So that's what I packed in my lunch. Now I gotta get going to work. Okay, so now for the book club portion. I made these little bags on my Cricut and I called our book club the Element Squad Book Club. It's kind of an inside joke. We actually dressed up as the periodic table in high school. So yeah, that's what our squad is called. And I just personalized each of them with our names. And then I got these page flags and these transparent sticky notes off of Amazon for some annotating and I thought this would be a cute little surprise for the girls. And then I decided that I wanted to make a sort of charcuterie-esque board. So I got some dairy-free cheese. This Borson dairy-free is really good. And then this like fancy dairy-free brie cheese. And then these spicy dill pickle almonds i'm kind of obsessed with them and then these little pepperoni sticks some rainbow carrots to add some color and vegetables onto this platter and then these vegan baby bells these are also very very delicious I found these gluten-free crackers, so I spread them on there, and I also put some rice crackers. They were sesame flavored, which you'll see in a moment. Also put some garlic hummus and added a little garnish of dried chives just to be a little bit fancy and then added some grapes because we needed some more color, some fruit on this platter. And then I decided that wasn't enough, so I made this seven layer, I think it's seven layers, it's what it's called. I got this recipe off of this girl on Instagram and it's so good. So the first layer is some roasted garlic hummus and then the next layer is homemade tzatziki. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I just like make this, wing it and it tastes good. 
so yeah, it tastes really good. And then I put some more cucumbers and then cut up tomatoes on top. And then this is some vegan feta. This is really good from Farm Boy. And then I also put some Kalamata olives as well. And then you use these like, I call them these like saucers, but they're basically like, they kind of taste like rice cakes, but they don't have a lot of flavor, but you can put the dip in them. You'll see in a minute, but then I decided I wanted to make some mocktails. Everyone was driving, so anyways, I decided to experiment and try to make some pina coladas, kind of inspired with pineapple juice and coconut milk, but I didn't end up finishing filming the rest because they got here. And those are the saucers that I was talking about. Do I say something or it's just a montage? I was planning on it being a montage, but if you have something to say. I don't really have much to say. Okay. <laughs> this is my friend Kay. She decided to bring a plate full of sushi. She is so funny. <laughs> And this is Sarah, she brought some more goodies, some candy, and some crispies. And then this is Sienna, she brought some vegetables, also some hummus, and a card game. Oh, it's gonna make memories! Make memories! <laughs> and show the back, yeah. <laughs> and here is the book that we read this month, Flowers for Algernon, which is, was Kay's choice. You pretend we're intelligently talking about the book. <laughs> All jokes aside, we did talk about the book, but we also just had some fun being in each other's company. Yeah, it was a really good <laughs> book. <laughs> Restart. It really uh, brought out the multiple themes of the book. <laughs> I listened to that in the background. These girls always make me laugh so much and we always have so much fun together and even with our busy lives, I'm so happy that we're able to spend this time together. Like, <laughs> I look at Becky has a big camera. Is that your vlog camera? Yes. Hello, today is Sunday and yesterday I had my first book club meeting with my friends. It was so much fun and we sat out here um, yesterday we also built the new patio furniture that my mom ordered so it was really nice and cozy we had blankets and then we had a little fire as well and then everyone brought something to eat we had a lot of food so <laughs> i'm excited for the next month's book club meeting because i am picking the next book for june so we're going to be reading Happy Place by Emily Henry, so that's exciting. Um, but I thought I would come on here and do a bit of a health update because I realized that I never really discussed some of the things that has happened recently. So at the beginning of May, I had my scope done to check for esophageal varices. Now that is connected to all of the liver stuff, so if you have a liver disease, you're at a higher increased risk of having esophageal varices, which are basically varicose veins in your esophagus, and if you have them, if they rupture, then that can be detrimental, so they have to check for them. So I had my scope at the beginning of May, and this is my first scope that I've ever had. The nurses were so, so nice and they knew that it was like my first time doing this, but like not my first rodeo at like procedures and that kind of stuff. And like, I just felt really like supported and cared for, which was a really great thing. So they did the scope and they told me right then and there that I didn't have esophageal varices and that potentially I will have to get another scope in I think three years. They haven't really discussed the timeline. I do have a follow-up phone call appointment with my liver specialist on the 6th of June, which is coming up this week. So 
I will hear from them about like the specific timeline but it's not something that I have to go for regularly which I'm thankful for because they did give me like some lidocaine um, spray like in my throat to numb it but they only gave me like three sprays and I still gagged and I remember the whole thing they gave me conscious sedation but that like never really works for me they say like it's to like make you feel calmer but a lot of people that I've spoken to that have had conscious sedation they say they don't remember anything but I just remember it all so I guess there's one good thing about remembering it all that I can tell you play by play what happened and then the week later I had my follow-up MRI so at the beginning, after I was finished with treatment, I was going for MRIs and chest x-rays every three months to make sure that there was no reoccurrence. And then, I think it, this was in January, I graduated to every six months. And so I went for another six month scan. And then I had a phone call appointment with my oncologist the next week and she said because my my scans were clear and because my diagnosis was now more than two years ago i am graduated to yearly scans so i only have to go every year and the amazing news too is she said also because it's been over two years since my diagnosis and no reoccurrence has occurred within that time frame she said there's close to a zero percent chance of reoccurrence which is so encouraging and such a great uh, such a big win and it means that like everything that I went through like was for something all of the treatment that I went through was for something and that I'm going to live my life so yeah I wanted to share that really positive news and that chapter is behind me but I know that it's still going to like the effects of treatment and the effects of being diagnosed with cancer at such a young age will still continue with me but I'm continuing to work through that and getting further past that stage of my life so yeah that's a really positive thing so I'm just gonna sit out here and I am currently reading Things We Hide from the Light, which is the second book in the Knockamout series. The first one was Things We Never Got Over, which if you've seen my videos, you know that I really enjoyed that book. So I am currently like 200 pages in, 227 pages into this book so far, and it's a big book. And I feel like this week I haven't had a lot of time to just sit and read, so I'm going to do that today. I found out that, so I was working four days a week, but now for the next two weeks at least, that's what I have my schedule for anyways, I'm going to be working five days, which I'm a little bit stressed because I was getting used to the four days and then having three days to like get my stuff together, but I'm feeling pretty tired today because we did build the furniture yesterday. I did get some help from one of my friends that lives a couple doors down. Um, shout out to William. He helped us because there was some technical issues with the make of the chairs. So he helped us out with that. But I was also getting all the stuff ready for book club. And then the girls were here until like 1130. So I am feeling pretty tired so I'm going to listen to my body and I'm just going to sit here for a while and read. If this video is posted a little bit later that's why because I'm trying to find my groove again with my schedule and everything so let's get reading.
It's been a couple of weeks and life has just been so crazy but in the best way possible so I have so much to catch you up on. It has been a couple of weeks since I last filmed and there has been a lot going on in my life that everything feels like it's finally falling into place. So where did I last leave off? So I still have been working and recently as of last Friday I got a gym membership which if you've been watching my videos for a while you know that this has been such a long term goal for me to actually get a gym membership and become a gym person. If you would have told me a year ago that this is where I would be at I probably wouldn't believe you. It's been a long time coming. I know that last year, around this time, I was finishing up physiotherapy and I was starting this other program that was physio related and it was really hard for me at times to even get through some of the exercises that they would give me, but I didn't give up. There's been a lot of setbacks when I was in school, I was trying to go to the gym in the school and just do like 10 minutes on the treadmill a couple of times a week. And then I had the surgery, I had to start from the beginning again. But since I've been working, I've been building up my strength in my legs to be able to not only stand all day, but then after work, I went to the gym last night and it feels really good to just be able to move my body and to just feel healthy. And the first time that I went, I went with some of my friends. So we had the book club, which I think I'm going to just include the book club footage in this video so you probably will have already seen it. I thought it would be long enough for a video, but I think it's only five minutes as I'm editing it. So anyways, what I was saying with that is we were talking about going to the gym because one of my friends, she's been going regularly and one of my other friends in the book club, she started going to this new gym that our other friend goes to. And because we all work with certain companies, I work with the health food store and they work with uh, some other companies we are offered a discount because of where we work for this gym so just all it feels like it's falling into place and I'm feeling really grateful that I'm able to move my body in this way because like I said there was a time where there was even a time where years ago where I couldn't even walk around the block or I couldn't even be independent on my own and exercise was like the last thing on my mind i just needed to get through the day so it just feels really good it feels really full circle moment and i feel like i'm finally getting to where i want to be and i'm feeling really content with where i want to be and that is just something that i haven't felt in a very long time so i am happy with my job i'm happy with where my career is headed and I'm able to work on my health right now and getting in shape and just feeling my best. That's my main goal is to feel my best and to get stronger. So that is really exciting. And I do plan on sharing more as I continue my gym journey, but the first couple of times I have just been trying different things out, trying out some of the machines because I've obviously never used them before and it's a bit intimidating going to the gym for the first time but the first time I went, I went with one of my friends and then our other friend met us there and then she showed us a couple of things that she does and then my one friend that I went with the first time, we went a second time and she showed me some other machines that she's used so I've just been dabbling into different exercises and seeing what makes my body feel good so without like fully pushing myself too much so yeah that's really exciting and i have another super exciting update so last week i entered a essay competition from my school so there is a conference coming up this weekend for the 
Integrative Oncology Board. It's a three-day conference in Toronto and it's a pretty big deal. And this essay competition, they were going to choose four students to attend the conference and they were going to prioritize fourth year students and then anyone that had a really compelling essay. So I just decided to enter the competition. As most of you know, I am just finishing up my first year and I'm going to be going into second year in September. So I wrote an essay and I found out last night that I won. I am one of the four that will be going to the conference. So I am so excited. This is something that I just feel so good about and I'm finally like moving away from you know the patient side to the practitioner side and I'm gonna have so much opportunity to learn and grow and to make connections especially for the future and yeah I will try to take you along with me I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film but that'll be this Friday Saturday and Sunday so I'm so so excited and this is just such a great opportunity for me so yeah that is my update and i think this video is probably getting a little bit long so thank you so much for watching this video if you did like it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i promise i do still have the book haul coming i did film that but like i said life's been super crazy super busy that i haven't really had a lot of time to edit so I'm going to try to prioritize that soon, but like I said, I have the conference this whole weekend, so anyways, thank you so much for all your support, and I hope you continue to follow me along my journey back to health, and with that being said, I will see you in the next one.